Why did you highlight before you wrote the words? Literally, who does that? Red on red. You can't even see it. And you smeared the ink too. This is why no one believes in you. Hey YouTube, how's life? So today I'm coming at you voiceover style because my eye is swollen. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on. It could be a multitude of things. So yeah, I kind of look like a cartoon villain right now. So I just decided that we're, we're going to do voiceover style. So yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. But today's video is going to be a video where I explain my process for planning the week, which, you know, sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Um, planning out my week is one thing. Remembering to look at the planner is another thing. But that aside, today I'm going to be showing you how I plan out my week. I want to get this video up by next Friday because I have not uploaded in a couple weeks and I've missed doing it. I've basically been taking the time to just sort of practice different camera techniques and editing techniques. So first things first, I mentioned this in my, I think, with my first week of the spring semester video basically i have two planners and i know that sounds a little bit excessive but the reason that i have two is because i have one that's like more of just a daily planner so it's everything that i want to do in a day so i can write down like any chores i need to do or if i have any appointments and that goes into this planner and then this one just has all the smaller tasks that i want to do and get done and i'll list out pretty much all of the homework assignments that i want to do that night and whether or not i actually do them is questionable but i like having a list so that i can visually see what it is that i have to do because sometimes i'll just find myself like it's not that i necessarily don't have the energy to do something it's more of i'm not exactly sure what i should be prioritizing so i find myself just kind of like sitting with my laptop in front of me and i'm like i, I don't know what tab to open i don't know what to do yeah this is what quarantine brain has done to me so it's just kind of nice to have something in front of me that's like okay this is what you need to do that you need to do this by this time whatever and then the other planner is a much more simple planner so this one i really just used to track all of my deadlines and what i mean by that is basically last semester i tried putting everything into my green planner and i would just get overwhelmed because it would just look like a wall of text and i wouldn't know i couldn't like i'd lose track of what was due when and i ended up missing deadlines because my little like notes that are like this is due today or this thing is due this day i would lose track of it because it looked the same as all of my other writing so i wouldn't notice it as much and then i would like just skip right past it and then realize two days later oh my god i didn't turn that paper in and then get reduced credit i'm not complaining about reduced credit because you know reduced credit is so much better than just not getting points the ultimate goal is to just turn it on on time so i'm sorry i i don't know if i if you could if it's picking up in the voiceover that i'm getting distracted but i'm recording this on my phone and as i'm looking across the street my neighbor is like doing donuts in the road and i i don't know what he's doing i anyways <laughs> this planner is basically a planner that i just use to lay out all the things that i need done so for example a lot of assignments are either due on tuesday or on sunday so yeah for example on sunday every two weeks i'm so sorry if you can hear my dog licking his leg in the background hold on let me see if i can get him to stop over thank you that was a lot easier than usual so for example on sunday i usually have every two weeks a journal entry due for my art history class i still don't really understand what i'm supposed to be doing when i write these journal entries but i turn them in and i just hope that i'm getting closer to what my professor wants from me so that's due every sunday so i usually mark that in ahead of time because that's a pretty consistent deadline and then that's also the same day that a lot of my sociology papers are due whether that be a short answer or a paper i believe my professor has it set up where they alternate between short answer and a paper so like one week i have a short answer and then like the next week i have a paper and it just kind of goes back and forth so i plot those out on every sunday and then other assignments like sometimes i'll have a paper due for english and that one doesn't really have a strict deadline so i'll just kind of draw a line across all of the different days and just be like okay my english paper needs to be in from here and here and just kind of bracket off when i'm allowed to submit it because my english professor is the sweetest woman ever and she's just like yeah crazy things are going on i don't want you to be stressed out so here's a rolling deadline and i'm like that is very kind of you thank you my sociology exams are the same way so i just you know do the same thing where i bracket off a bunch of days and what i do to try to stay a little bit more accountable of myself is even when professors give me a full five day week to do an assignment what i like to do is pick whether or not i want to submit it in the beginning of the week or the end of the week and i give myself three days instead of the five days that way i prioritize it a little bit more and if i end up needing all five days then i do but then i won't have it by choosing three days instead of five days it makes me prioritize the assignment a little bit more and worst case scenario i have the extra time it 
allows me to not sort of rely on the fact that I have extra time to do it, you know? Does that make any sense? I don't know. I'm a procrastinator, so I tend to leave everything until the last minute. It's very rare that I do things, you know, three days before it's due, which I know isn't good, but I'm trying my best. Like, I have a very smooth brain, you know? It just, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Every once in a while, I do mark an event or an appointment in my planner, but that is only if it's really, really important. I try not to mark like every single little thing in my second planner. Only important appointments, so like something that I would have to reschedule if I missed it. Hi, hello. Okay, so um, it's currently 11.55, like it's five minutes to midnight. I'm finishing up this video and I was going to add this whole other segment to the video that I filmed midweek or whatever because I was just like flooded with assignments and things I was working on and projects. I just wanted to take a minute and write down every single step and I was going to sort of talk through what I was doing but ultimately I think it's just going to take me way too long to go through all the footage of me talking and like edit them and color correct them. I have like several different projects that I'm working on right now. I'm doing stuff for school and then I'm also trying to plan two short films that I want to just film independently, you know, like independent from school. I'm working on the pre-production for that by myself. And since I am doing that completely by myself, literally help from no one else, it's taking me a lot longer. So I'm breaking it down into as manageable as possible. But um, yeah, so that's one of the things I've been working on. And then I just have, I have a documentary project coming up for school. And that's like a really big one. I've been excited for this like the entire semester. So yeah, those are some of the various projects that I'm working on. And so what I did is I went through my collection of sticky notes because I kind of have a slight obsession with collecting all the different color post-it notes that I can find. I definitely don't have all of them but i would say that i have a, a good a good amount i would say i have a good variety i have a i have a spectrum of colors if you will so um i went through and i was picking out different colors for different projects and i wrote down on the top sticky note i just wrote the name of the project and then i went in and i was writing down all the different steps that i could think of just off the top of my head so i wrote all of that stuff down from there i took like i literally it's just like this random placemat map thing i don't even know what it is it's just like a it's like a laminated map of the world i just stuck all the sticky notes on that to map everything out <laughs> get it map it out because because it's a because it's a map um Anyways, so yeah, that's how I plotted everything out, and I would say I'm, I lean towards visual when it comes to learning and organization, so the things like color-coded systems really work for me, and just being able to visualize, plot out each and every step and make it something kind of physical to look at, if that makes any sense. Not an original idea, but it is something that I did, so I just wanted to mention that and throw it at the end of the video. I don't know if anything in this video was actually that helpful, but I did try out a couple new editing techniques and like little things here, and I actually really like how this video came out, even if it's not actually that interesting to listen to so um if you like this video if you like how i edited it give it a thumbs up because that's the thing and i'll see you in the next video okay bye guys